For years, the Ibatans, or the local folk residing on the islands of Batanes, have long held on to their custom of building the traditional vahai in Tataya. But with the advent of modern infrastructure development, availability of durable, cost-effective construction materials, and national laws prohibiting the use of certain natural resources, it is now slowly being forgotten. To preserve these Ivatan traditions and ensure that they are not lost in history, the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, or NHCP, Tap the LSU faculty, among a few others, to document and record the last of these Ivatan houses and boats through a coffee table book to create a manual on how to construct them and to produce a video documentary that can be accessed online. There's no material about Batanes in the, in, in the NHCP collections. Uh, we took a look at some of their previous publications and I think this is the first picture book they're producing. The LSU faculty members from the History Department and the Department of Communication took on the project with the support of the DLSU Social Development Research Center. The Ivatan's Vahai, or house, has two types. The older type, which is made mainly of light materials such as kogon, reed, and wood, and the other, which is more famously associated with the Ivatan's, are the stone houses that are made up of piled stones, mortared with a mixture of lime and sand. These houses are roofed with several layers of thatched kogon, clipped together by reed or bamboo, and fastened to the wooden roof frame by a local variety of rattan. To date, only a thousand of these vahais are still standing on the islands of Batanes, some still being used and kept in good shape, while others are abandoned and with no sign of being restored. On the other hand, the traditional tataya, or boat, is made up of several parts, namely the managad, tavas, Lagkaw, among others, and these were chopped out of timber using stone and wooden tools, such as adze and tataho. Tatayas are made by Ivatan master boat builders, and while the kind, shape, and general features of the boat remained the same since hundreds of years ago, the process of making it and the materials used changed because of environmental constraints and technological advancements. For thousands of years, the Ivatans have survived the harsh conditions of the Patanas Islands because of the durability of the traditional vahais and tatayas. But today, their construction is now almost impossible. The memory of how to build these houses is soon fading. So I think the significance of the NHCP's intervention is that it's able to document, posterize uh, everything for, for the future.